All right, let's play tanks. So this is the first replay I have ever uploaded. And of course, right away, I decided to be annoying with the camera. Good. So I'm rolling out with my buddy John right there. I got my STA too. He's got his Progetto. And the reason why I decided to put this up is that there are a couple of noteworthy moments in the replay. Other than me shoot, shooting John. So... This game has physics. Got back to normal speed. So when you ram a tank, or you fall off a cliff, or something happens, typically it'll cause damage to your vehicle. And if you ram an enemy, it'll cause damage to their vehicle as well. Right here, this is a Tanks 101, I see my shells disappearing, so that KV-3 is still there. And I believe the next shot, you see it hit the ground. Yeah, you see it go poof in the background there, so you know that the KV-3's moved. Anyways, let's speed this up here. It's not much super noteworthy for a little bit. So we set up in the standard sniper location. Um... And yeah, physics. EBR-90 spots us. There's a couple moments in this game that I thought were noteworthy, physics-wise. Both of them are things that I've never witnessed, really, in this game yet. And it just, it just leaves me with questions. Well, maybe not the second moment so much, but the first moment just kind of made me, it just made me wonder why. And here it comes. What? So the EBR jumps off a cliff. Granted, yes, he loses half his health. And he dies for doing that nonsense. But... I would think jumping a hundred feet off a cliff would... I would... This is just my opinion. Maybe I don't understand how the physics work. But I would think that's game over for your tank. I don't know. Is it the weight of the vehicle? Does that be... Is that taken into consideration? I really... Anyway, so that was moment number one. In this replay. And I get spotted there. And yes, I do complain about physics and wheel tanks and all that fun stuff. I think it's at this point that John starts screaming at me to go help him. But me being me, of course, I wait about uh, 20 to 30 seconds too long to get over there. Let's speed this up. about here I decided to take off. So yes, as much as I complain about physics, you're going to see here in a moment. There's the bounce. So it is where I thought it was. A bulldog bounces off me from behind, but somehow off the front of my turret, I... anyways. So yes, it's at this point that John had been screaming for help and said, hey, can you, can you come over here? We're about to get over on the hill. So like a good Canadian neighbor, I decide to go help. I thought that, uh, that EBR was gonna cliff dive John, but he just got into the lower ground. So I'll speed it up here. John's telling me, hey, you're full HP, get up here and feed them your HP. 
so there's a Progetto, BBR, and the T-69. That shot I was semi-surprised didn't go in, but regardless, John goes down. Right, something that I forgot to point out earlier, um, what's that leopard's name again? Right, the name of that leopard on the enemy team is Stat McPatter. Which I thought was absolutely hilarious. And then there's already right on schedule. But I can't complain too much because our already finishes off the Progetto. And I was very surprised that that shot went in considering I'm already stunned. My aiming reticle is an absolute disaster right now. So there might have been a way that I could have played that better and finished off a T-69, but regardless. Can't do anything about that now. And that EBR seems to be very content on feeding us his HP. As, as, I, as I bounce off the T-69, HE might have been the smarter option to load there. It may or may not have killed that T-69, but... Can't change that now. So here comes the second moment. We kill each other at the exact same time. So... That pretty... Considering that both of our tanks have shell velocities of about a thousand meters a second, we must have pulled our triggers at literally like, the exact same time as far as the server is concerned. So whether it be ping and lag and all that stuff, that is the first time I've seen that happen in a game world of tanks. I might have seen it at low tiers back in the day when everybody was using derp guns and sniping from across the map on province that stupid terrible map but as far as like a high tier recent game that is the first time i've ever seen that oh yeah my team goes on to lose this game not that that's really the relevant point i just thought i'd throw this up and point out the the great physics we have in this game and if you made it to the end uh, I will say thank you very much for sticking through it, and hopefully maybe someday I'll upload another replay soon.